I'm one of the pastors at Faith Lutheran Church in Anchorage, Alaska, and welcome to our midweek Advent devotion on this Tuesday, December 1st. Let's begin our time together in God's Word in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's scripture lesson comes to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 6 to 13. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Are you as amazed as I am when you simply look up at to the sky and see the beauty of all the light-bearing bodies. It's really something astounding when you think about it, just to look outside and see light. Imagine with me for a moment what the world would be like if we had no light. If when you flipped that switch in your bedroom every morning, nothing happened. If you looked out the window at noon and it was complete and utter darkness. But God, in his infinite wisdom, sent light to us. And what an amazing thing it is. I'm always astounded when we go back to the very beginning of creation to see that God made light on the very first day. On the fourth day, he made the sun, the moon, and the stars. Light is just so amazing and so astounding. There's some pretty crazy facts when you get to know more about light. It travels insanely fast, like at the speed of light. It's 670 million, 616,000, 629 miles an hour. It makes our minds whir just trying to think about what light is really like. And for light to reach your retinas from the sun, it takes a mere 499 seconds. Those photons travel across 92 million miles to get to you. What a distance. How amazing is this stuff called light? Well, in the gospel, John tells us what light really is. The true light that was coming into the world was no one other than Jesus Christ. And how amazing he is. He traveled across the chasm of the cosmos, entering in from heaven to our world to come and be near to us. John tells us what the light's purpose was. To reveal in our lives the most important truths about God himself. He shines in the darkness. Jesus came into this world to illumine your heart and mine. To seek out all those dark areas so void of what God wants to find. And he came to illumine something new in our lives as well. Just like the sunlight searches out shadows, so Jesus came to find the darkness in us. But what he reveals is something completely new and different. John tells us that because of faith in Jesus, God reveals a new title in us. We are children begotten of the Heavenly Father, all because of what Jesus did to give his life on the cross to be our Savior. He came near to us so that we can come near to God. It's interesting in this text as well that it describes the life of John the Baptist. He was the one that came to give witness to the light. 
Just like the moon gives witness that the sun is actually shining, that was John's job, to reflect the light of Jesus. As Christians, don't we have that very same role in our lives? To shine with the bright light of Jesus so that others would see in us what we've seen in our Savior. This Advent season, may the powerful working of God who came near to us in the person of Jesus Christ shine in your lives as you live for him. Amen. Will you pray with me? Light of the world, shine in our lives that we may illumine the lives of others with the light of your word. Be near us, Lord Jesus, and stay. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me for